Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video about this little quad here. And little is definitely the operative word. This is the YMZ FPV Eagle 2, designed to have a HD system installed in it and give you a flying experience that feels very much like a much, much larger quad. Now you can uh, buy it with the camera and but you can also get it without the camera and vtx which is how i've had it delivered here also with an express lrs 2.4 gigahertz receiver which this one has or a tbs nano or without a receiver at all now this isn't particularly cheap um i got this one from banggood it was about 146 pounds as it is sat here um, however with the walksnail unit in obviously you can add another 120 130 pounds on top of that plus a little battery as well i'm using the gmb 3s i think the 380 milliamp hour batteries in it so by the time you've put it together, it's a relatively expensive little package. However, this is something that I thought would be fun to get my hands on, as I've had quite a few little whoops recently that have been designed around HD. And in my humble opinion, you kind of need a slightly bigger battery and a slightly higher voltage to be able to handle those and for the battery to last longer than around 90 seconds. Now, it is a bit of an odd hybrid when you start to look at it, in that the bottom from kind of the flight controller down could be a whoop, and there could be some kind of enclosure here for these little whoop-style motors and props. But the centre section definitely does look like a shrunk-down version of a much larger quad. So, you know, it looks like it's freshly hatched out of the egg, with maybe one parent being a 5-inch quad, and the other parent being some kind of whoop. And you can see here, I've put walk snail in mine, although in the listing it says that it's designed around the DJI 04 stuff. You know what? It actually works brilliantly with this and other systems as well. But I'll get into the detail of how I've put my walk snail unit in here. It didn't take me very long at all. A couple of specifications while I show you how it comes in the box. Again, this is a YMZ FPV branded quad this is actually called the eagle 2 wheelbase is 88 millimeters the motors are 1002 brushless motors the frame they're calling an e2f frame recommended propellers are 35 millimeter three bladed which is what i've been flying it on here that's what's actually on the motors as you're looking at it right now or there's 1608 threes as well i actually got both prop lots in the box however i've been flying it with the smaller props and having a lot of fun designed around the dji 04 air unit but don't be fooled by that as with all the 04 stuff and this will absolutely fit other systems like this walk snow unit without any problems at all flight controller in this is an f411 based all in one 40 amp flight controller and there is this little receiver here at the back i think if i recall this is a beta fpv uh, receiver here with one single antenna across the back flashed with uh, 3.x recommended battery a 3s 380 milliamp hour 90c they're not included so you're going to have to get your hands on at least a couple of these i would recommend flight time is only couple of minutes if you're flying in a very spirited fashion they're advertising about four minutes 20 with a 35 millimeter prop i think you'd have to be very very careful with your throttle to get anywhere near that weight is about 68 grams let me very quickly show you what the beats flight configuration is on this as you briefly seen it actually flies really well so they've done a really good job of setting this up and making sure that the tune and default configuration of this thing is actually really nice straight out the box i will put a link to the dump and diff down below everything is set up as you'd expect it is an external crsf receiver uh, the tune by default is set up really nicely the only thing i changed were the flight modes to fit the way that i tend to have it on my radio and also tweaked with the way that the on-screen display was laid out and that was about it really in terms of the beta flight setup once i'd done that it was just a case of binding the receiver putting on the props and away you go be careful the props are reversed so be aware of that when you're actually putting putting them on uh, they're just these press fit whoop style so i wouldn't expect it to um, survive lots and lots of aggressive punch outs just be a little bit careful of that although they've been absolutely fine here so with the beta flight stuff out the way let's talk a little bit about converting it to walks now now 
if you take off the four screws at the bottom, this entire top frame comes off and there's a little piece here that can actually come apart with multiple mounting points for different FPV systems. So once it's all apart, all I did was use the supplied four screws and screw that into the top of my Walksnail unit. Once that was in place, then it was just a case of putting the frame back together with that brace at the top. These metal pieces are really beautifully made actually if i didn't know better if someone had told me this was an armor tank quad i would have absolutely believed them and that's how nice this is there's even vibration isolating pads by the side of these two metal frame parts just a case of putting it all together it's a little bit fiddly but then this is all about keeping the weight down as much as is possible once that's all together then the frame is just bolted back onto the top I did modify the rear bracket, which is on there by default that you saw at the beginning, cut out a little piece so that you could go around the cable from the Walksnell unit without plugging the UFL connector, modified the insert so that it supports the Walksnell antenna, and then screwed that into the back. The only other thing then was this little connector at the side by default is set up for the DJI 04 unit, so it had an extra two pins on it. I just clipped those off. The connector is not only the right connector to go into the side of the Walksnell unit, but also the order of the cables is perfect too. I didn't even have to change on the settings in Betaflight because it was already set up for an MSP DisplayPort HD system. In terms of flying, this does exactly what you hope it does. It is a really fun thing to fly. The battery on the bottom gives that extra little bit of stability, but you can absolutely hoon it around and just have a big grin on your face. The big thing about this is that when you start to fly it, you kind of forget that it's flying this kind of toothpick style layout with this kind of standard quad middle. It's actually feels more like a really nice four or a classic five inch model now by default it is supplied at kind of an 80 percent power cap which is how i'm flying it here uh, more than enough power to hoot it around even on these smaller props hovering at about 30 to 40 percent throttle so absolutely loads of power even on that reduced top end the way it comes Noise is not bad, it just sounds like a powerful whoop. Uh, the image is really nice, no props in the way, um, just really fun to fly and like I say, you just forget that it's such a small little quad. Tune is solid and the quad moves exactly as you'd expect. It inspires a ton of confidence and I was absolutely flying it around with a big goofy grin on my face. Only, as I said at the beginning, about two and a half to three minutes flying in a spirited fashion with the recommended batteries. So just keep that in mind. Keep your eye on the timer because when the battery starts to fail, this thing is going to lose altitude pretty quickly and land in the grass. And if it isn't freshly mown, you're going to struggle to find the thing. Even if you set up the beeper with those little small motors, the beeper isn't particularly loud. Maybe that would have been a nice addition to have just to give you a chance of finding it if it disappeared in the side of a hedge. While we're talking about hitting things like hedges, do be very careful of the props. That's the only little bit of damage that I've had playing with it here. It hit something hard with one of the rear props and the prop just kind of folded up. I think these little um, propellers are really designed for whoops where they're in some kind of protected enclosed frame so if you hit anything at all i my advice would be don't try and use the flip over after crash function and just take it off the floor and wooze it around i would go and pick it up and check all the props there's a very good chance that one of them or two of them are going to be a little bit bent so in summary i have been impressed by this the quality of this is really really good and the way that all these metal parts have been put together and the way the frame kind of goes together with the hd system part of it becomes an integral part of the stiffness of the frame is really smart it's keeping the weight down to a really low level so that even with these small motors and props you can have a big goofy grin on your face it definitely feels and flies more like a really nice four or five inch quad and it's very easy to forget within about a minute of taking off that this thing fits in the palm of your hand. This is definitely a step up from a whoop if you want to use a smaller quad but still get the benefit of HD FPV without having to sacrifice lots of other things. This works with the 
caveat of course is that the propellers are exposed i would not fly this anywhere near as close to branches or anything else that i would with a whoop style because as soon as one of these props hits something then i'm in big trouble there's just enough parts around the HD system in here to turn it into a flying machine and a really nice one at that. And it's really fun to be able to show you how easy it is to convert something like this that's advertised as DJI 04 only into be a Walksnell unit, despite what the manufacturer will tell you. And we can all probably hazard a guess at why the manufacturer is saying it's 04 only. DJI is incentivizing them to say that. But as you've seen, that's absolutely not the case. The only downside of this is the slightly short flight times. I would have liked another minute or two, but you know, there is potentially opportunity with a slightly bigger battery um, and just sacrifice a little bit of the performance. The measure of a quad like this is how much of a grin it puts on your face. And this is one of those that puts a big goofy grin on your face. The challenge with this is that although this is amazing fun, uh, I don't tend to fly this class, um, although I'm very tempted to keep hold of this one and just have it as one of those kind of pocket things to fly around and just have fun when I'm somewhere where I can just pull the goggles and radio out of the boot of the car and just have a bit of a hoot around. However, this deserves to be flown an awful lot more than this, so I'm going to give this one away. So thank you for sticking to the end. So if you want to be in a chance to win this, standard stuff, like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to put a couple of special words in there so I know that you've got right to the very end. Include the words YMZFPV Eagle 2, as I'm showing on the screen, and I will do a search for that and pull the names out of the hat probably in four or five days. But if you've been looking for something that's a little bit more substantial than a Whoop for a HD system, either DJI or something like Walk Snail or even something else, this is an awful lot of fun and one that I would recommend. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.